Bill was my boss and he was my mentor and Bill made the impossible feel possible. And he was diagnosed with plasma cell leukemia, uh, a very rare form of blood cancer. And that was a very tough day for me. But then he looked at me, he goes, Frankie, he goes, I want you to do me a favor. He goes, I want you to keep my story alive. He goes, I want people to know that there's hope when, when the, everybody tells you there isn't any. We lose 200 million hours of work every year due to mental illness because it's the number one illness in America is depression. And we don't talk about it. In order to get to the light, we've got to go to the dark first. Modern science has proved there is tremendous tr connection between gut health and overall health. But the most recent science is showing how much mental health has to do with gut health. We are not just the way we think right now as adults forever. We can rewire our subconscious. We can and will rewire the way that we think when we have practice, we have discipline, we have focus. The best thing is to manage ourselves that you can all manage your depression. How to do it? Meditate, meditate, meditate. And you can battle it in a number of ways. This is one way, the power of positive affirmation, the power of forgiving yourself, having patience and grace with yourself. We need to eliminate the stigmas around it. There's nothing wrong with you. You just think differently. And humans, by nature, if you're different, we get scared of it. And if we harness it, it's a competitive advantage.